Hello, Freedom fans. I'm Aaron. I'm Chris. Welcome to <laughs> vlog number 61. Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, owner pricing model. Uh, and how would you describe it? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, we were chatting right before we got on here, um, looking at it, pricing for property management from, you know, the traditional market, which is cost, you know, we yeah. touch it, we bill it mm -hmm. versus um, more aligned with the owner's experience and and our clients as a whole. Yeah. Um, so we we transitioning from a cost approach to a, um, a value approach. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So we should back up a little bit and introduce everybody to who you are, who I am, <laughs> right. I guess, right? Yeah. So I'm the CEO of the family of companies that right. do run our property management yes. organization. Right? Yes, I do. So Chris is our director of property management and a property manager. Um, and uh, you're doing, you're, you're innovating something in the industry that's, that really needs to be changed. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think that's, I think that's kind of what sets us apart a little bit is that we're trying to align with those interests. Um, it's not a, what you, you talk about running the experiment. So we've been running some experience recently, yep. um, seeing how this plays out. And I think now we're ready to just kind of announce it yep. uh, to our, to our listeners yeah. to see what we're doing. So tell us a little bit about how, how does the industry do pricing for owners? Yeah, I kind of touched on it a little bit. Uh, you know, uh, the, you touch it, you bill it. Um, if we do a maintenance ticket, mm -hmm. we bill 10% on whatever the cost is, even right. if we do it in-house. That's what the standard, the standard is. The standard is in the industry, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, vacancy fees. Um, so if the property is vacant, they just sometimes property managers will just bill. that manage the property whether it's vacant or not. Okay. Um, Placement fees, maintenance fees, like I said, eviction fees. So on okay. top of the normal eviction costs, there's also a fee for us yep. going to court. Um, termination fees of contracts. Um, so uh, I think we're going to talk about more in a, in a longer podcast, but you know, we stripped those all down. Stripped okay, the, so strip the onion to the core, That's all the awesome. layers. Yeah, Yeah. so it was an opportunity to say what I have interpreted about what, the, what you're doing is taking the opportunity to say, why do we even do it this way? Right. And why not just destroy the whole thing? <laughs> and how would we want it to be done if we were owners? Right, right? absolutely. So, yeah. Um, so what are you moving toward? Like, how are you doing it now? Um, value, 100%. Like, what is the highest impact things for our clients? And those okay. are the areas that we should get fees for. Okay. So um, and I'm sure we'll get into the nitty gritty yeah. and so all that. Something but good happens. Something great happens. Owner, yeah. Um, um, so then, then, then they're built for that. Yes. Not, not when something is hard for us. Right. Right. Is good for them. Yeah. And, and we've, we, in some part of the conversation with the clients have been like, I want to share in your pain. Like I shouldn't be, you rewarded when you're suffering and vice versa. Right. So, yeah, um, <laughs> so yeah. So, I mean, those are lots of the conversation we've that's had. That's the banking and, industry too, yeah, right? Yeah. My account balance is, is, is below par or whatever. And I'm, I'm broke and I'm overdrafting my checking account. I can right. build. Right. They're making, they make a living on me suffering. And right. Like misalignment there. Yeah. So in the property management uh, world, the standard pricing model is the same way. Right. When you suffer as an owner, the, the, you know, the conventional normal property manager bills you for that. Right. For those yeah. suffering, uh, you know, incidences or whatever. So. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. So we'll get into a little bit more of the examples of exactly what this is mm -hmm. in, a, in a later podcast and talk about why, how this came to be, mm -hmm. why we're doing it this way, challenges, um, how it all adds up in terms of costs for the owners. Um, all of that stuff is of interest. I mean, those are the questions in my mind, right? Right, as absolutely. I'm, I'm kind of digging into how you're going about doing this. As an owner, I want to know those things. Right, absolutely. Okay, so. Anyway, uh, what, what else is what else are we going to hit in that uh, longer conversation? Um, well, part of that is you know we'll kind of hit the question on like war business, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, we're um, you know market standards were fee based business and property yeah. management. So if we're stripping away a lot of our income, how do we? Yeah, we're, how, we're, do we how, how do we how do we yeah. come out on top? Um, so we'll kind of touch on that a little bit. Um, yeah can't share all of our secrets in one podcast. Right, We're right. going to have more content for later <laughs> down the road. But right. um, And then also some of the factors that go into how we made that decision yeah. and how it affects properties in our portfolio. Um, obviously, some for, as a property manager, some properties are definitely more beneficial more, yeah, than others. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, cool. So kind of some of the factors that kind of play into okay. that. But um, overall, it was a big decision for our, you know, 500 plus doors. Um to I'm make that move. I'm curious too what your initial response has been. If you want to sandbag that for the side. Yeah, we'll, sa we'll yeah. sandbag but it. But I'm yeah. curious too, what, what, are, what are owners saying in response yeah. to the changes that you're making? Um, yeah. And 
if you all know us, you know <laughs> that we test these things. Oh, we 100%. make sure that it's a good response before we cloud. Yeah, them, so. yeah. So I mean, you said we test it. So we, we took a small sample size mm -hmm. of clients. Actually, I took our biggest impact clients, ones with the most properties or the most yep. diverse tenant base. Um, approximately fifteen percent of our portfolio was mm -hmm. kind of dry run tested. I had one on one conversations with those owners. Um, talked to a couple of their tenants one on one because uh, there are some tenant changes and tenant fees as yeah. well. Um, and just tested on that fifteen percent, and it was a pretty good response. So then we're like, you know what? Let's let's go and roll it out. And yeah. uh, so far, it's been been pretty pretty awesome. Um, nice. So we'll, we'll kind of go into some of those stories. I think a little bit more in the podcast, but uh, awesome. yeah, I'm pretty excited. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, stay tuned or ch uh, check out podcast. It'll be podcast forty five. Yeah. If you want to hear more about our new owner oriented uh, <laughs> pricing model, um, should be pretty insightful. But the moral of the story is we're, we're pricing it for value instead of for, for our costs. Oh, absolutely. Right? So, yep. Thanks, Freedom fans. I appreciate you joining us. As always, <laughs> invest smart. And live happy. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Nothing on this show should be considered specific personal or professional advice. Please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, financial, or business professional for individualized advice. Opinions and information on this show are not guaranteed. All investment strategies have the potential for profit or loss.